phototropism and the effect of auxin on plant growth. A tropism is a growth towards a stimulus and there are three tropisms that we can look at to do with plants. The first one is phototropism and this is the growth of a plant towards light. So the leaves, the shoot of the plant grows towards the source of light. The second stimulus is hydrotropism and that's the growth of roots towards a source of water. The last one is geotropism and that's the growth of plant shoots away from the ground upwards and the growth of roots downwards towards the ground. So how do plants grow? The growth in height of a plant mainly comes from cells elongating in the zone of elongation. Growth in humans and animals comes from cells duplicating, so you've got more cells, therefore you grow taller. In plants though, the growth in height mainly comes from the cells getting bigger, stretching out. So what causes these cells to elongate? It's a plant hormone called auxin. If the hormone is present inside the plant cell, then the cell is going to elongate, grow longer. So what you need to remember, auxin causes cells to elongate. Without auxin, the cells don't elongate as much. Auxin, the plant hormone, is produced in the very tip of the plant shoot and then distributes itself evenly down both sides of the plant. If the auxin is present, the cells in this part of the plant will elongate in the zone of elongation, causing the shoot to stretch and grow. As such, that's because the auxin has been evenly distributed. So if it's evenly distributed, then the plant shoot will grow straight upwards. However, it's not always the case that this auxin is evenly distributed down both sides of the plant shoot. So here's another shoot. We've got, at the minute, auxin evenly distributed along both sides. If we introduce the sun, though, and some sunlight shining on just this side of the plant, so this other side is in shade, we'll notice that sunlight breaks down the auxin in half of the plant. So that auxin there is no longer present. The shaded side of the plant, though, still has auxin inside it, therefore this side of the plant will elongate, whereas the other side in the sunlight won't because the auxin has been broken down. That causes the plant shoot on this side to grow as the plant bends towards the sunlight. These cells elongate, stretch out, whereas these ones don't. Here are some images of different plants during phototropism experiments conducted by Darwin and some other scientists. What I'd like you to do is look at the images below of these different plants that have been modified and explain why each plant has grown the way it has. So for example, one of the plants has had the tip removed, one's had an opaque cover, one's had a clear cover, and some have been modified in other ways. Pause the video and then try and explain why each plant has grown the way it has always relating it back to auxin, that plant hormone we discussed earlier. Pause the video and then I'll go through the answers. Okay, so we're going to have a look at each of these plants then in turn and see why it's grown the way it has. So this first plant um, has auxin on the shaded side because on the light side it's been destroyed. Um, therefore the cells on the dark side have elongated, that's why the plant has grown towards the sun. Let's have a look at the second one. The second one has had the tip removed. Um, auxin is created in the tip of the plant because the tip's been removed, no auxin is present, so there's been no elongation of cells, or very little. Um, the next one, the tip has been covered with um, an opaque cap. Therefore, in the zone of elongation, the light hasn't reached it, so auxin's been evenly distributed, therefore the plant has experienced elongation evenly. Okay, so the next one um, has a clear cap, so transparent, meaning light can pass through it, placed on top of the plant. Because the light can reach the tip of the plant, the auxin can be destroyed on the light side and it can remain on the shaded side, therefore the plant has grown towards the sun. The next plant um, has a base covered um, by an opaque cap. 
the auxin is found at the top of the shoot and is affected nearer the top, that's where the elongation occurs, so covering the base has had no effect on the way it grows, so it's grown towards the sunlight as we would expect. The second to last one has the tip separated by a gelatin block. An auxin can pass through that gelatin block, therefore the zone of elongation does have that uneven distribution of auxin because of the light coming from the sun, therefore it's grown towards the source of light. And this last one, the tip has been separated by some mica and the auxin can't pass through that. Therefore there isn't that uneven distribution of auxin throughout the plant, so it's just grown straight upwards.